Hi everyone, the Mature Simmer here. Welcome back to Train Simulator and the RB Jets and the RB Jets Marias Pass series, scenario 15. So after a short stop in Blacktail, some stock is waiting to be picked up in Summit, Montana. Oh, that's the Continental Divide. So I guess at that point we're going to start going down. 35 minutes. Welcome back. Let's head towards Summit. There will be some loaded flat cars waiting for us there. So let's just take a look. All right, so we do have some coupling here. Um, and then maybe we're continuing past the Continental Divide. Interesting. Briefing, the briefing, Blacktail. Short and to the point, I guess, right? All right, let's... Uh, Get ourselves in here, and we will start going. Just got to be careful, because I'm sure I can do some wheel slippage. Well, we've got seven miles to the summit before it looks like we need to worry about anything. This is speeding up way faster than I would have thought from a dead stop on a 1.8 grade. Wow. That is impressive power, I'll tell you that. I'm sure in the winter or something it might be a little different, but... So, yeah, I think when everybody, you know, dreams about trains or whatever, I mean, this is definitely, for me, it's part of it, it's just the, you know, the the west and the mountains and just going for hundreds and hundreds of miles through like really cool scenery and stuff. And again, downside obviously of a job like this, you know, you're if you're got a family, you're away from them while you're doing these runs, but there's certainly worse jobs to be doing, I think, than sitting here and looking out your window and seeing this. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Keep forgetting to turn my lights on, but we weren't really going in any tunnels, but you know when we're running, I'm pretty sure we should be using lights, so. All right, still 1.8, even though it does look like we're flattening out a bit. But yeah, the nice thing is, I mean, it doesn't speed up a lot, so does seem like there's only so much speed we can get out of this, but it did go from 0 to 15 pretty quickly. But the nice thing is, yeah, maybe we're making ourselves a little longer, although we might be dropping some things off. Another tra train coming. Always good to see. I'm sure this happens pretty regularly. I mean, tra tracks are only as good as something rolling on them and making money. It's kind of like with trucking. If the wheels aren't spinning, you're not making any money. All right, still 1.8, below 6 miles now. Finally kind of at our speed. But yeah, the trick will be going down the other side. Um, that'll be a new experience for me, trying to keep the train from getting too fast with the brakes. But it should be manageable. Um, and again, I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. But maybe it'll be flat for a while. Who knows? I assume RB Jets is going to have us keep moving along. We're not going to suddenly stop just because we hit the Continental Divide. Down to 1.2, so I do need to be careful. At the end of the last scenario, I suddenly was speeding in the last couple minutes. It's like, really? I've done perfect the whole way, and then and I do that and blow it. So we've got a signal up there. 
good news is we've had, you know, two train tracks the whole way here. So, all right, 1.4, so it's getting a little, little steeper. We'll see if it goes back up to the 1.8 or not. Assume 38's not going to be enough. Yep, we're slowing down, but it looks like it's getting steeper visually, but maybe that's just an optical illusion. This is a turn. Hmm. These are always pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, I think that's where we came from. And that's obviously where we're headed. Just make sure, yep, our signal's good. But pretty, pretty sweet. So 1.5, there we go, turns red. Just speechless. What can I say? It's just cool. Just enjoying the sights. Hopefully, you're enjoying them as well. Yeah, I just wish with these, um, this locomotive, like they didn't have all the radio chatter always happening. I mean, maybe that's realistic and it's never really quiet, but it's like seems like it would be more fun just kind of listening. Oh, now we're at 1.9. So we are getting a bit steeper for a while here. Might just be for a little bit, but who knows. And well, now we're down to 1.7, so it is just for a little bit. Just be careful that I don't go too, too fast, too fast. I, I meant that twice, that I don't go too fast, too fast. So, it wasn't a misspeak. So, um, but yeah, so far, doesn't look like we're, it's running away from us. Now, I wonder, I think we're just uh, curving in and then we're kind of still going straight out my windshield in that direction, but guess we'll find out, right? Yeah, certainly we are. There's the turn. Just the way it was going, I'm like, it's possible that there's like a, a pass through here and that's where we're going to go. After all, it is Marias Pass somewhere. All right. Put some more power on. I say this is like a place that looks like they'd have those protective overhangs that we had seen in earlier scenarios, but it doesn't look like it. Maybe once you get above a certain height, I mean, we are getting near that continental divide, so there just may not be enough. Uh, if it is avalanche protection, for example, it just might not be enough that anything substantial would fall because you're not accumulating all of that going down a, a much longer slope. Yeah, this is definitely, um, you know, you, you just don't know, obviously, if you're not operating a train, um, you know, what the speed would be through the mountains. But clearly, I mean, imagine, like, being in a car on your family vacation and just being able to go 25. I mean, you're definitely able to look around and enjoy it, but it takes a long time to get places. All right, we're just at 1.2. That's what I'm like, why am I suddenly speeding up? That would be why. So I'm going to go down to 38. See if that backs us off a bit. It does. Actually, it looks like quite a bit. So, we'll just let it drift down a bit again.
But yeah, we definitely don't have mountains looming above us as ominously or as high. I guess, you know, mountains aren't necessarily ominous. Being a little over dramatic. Um, but they're not up there as high because obviously, again, as we're getting close to the Continental Divide, we'll, we'll hit that high point at 5,200 feet. So just slightly over a mile up. And then, uh, or wait, see now I'm like, wait, I think a mile's actually 5,280. So now I'm like second guessing myself. It's been forever since I've had to know that. Now I'm like, am I right? Oh, now we're at 1.9. So. It is 5,280. I, I looked it up. Losing my mind. But I guess it's those things, you know, you just don't think about. Or, so I'm like, oh, we're up my, uh, over a mile. But nope, we're not. We're not quite a mile when we hit that height. But still... So, it's up there. Again, it just, it looks like the grade is increasing, but it's only 1.7 now, so. Now this looks like we might be circling around and kind of almost doing like a horseshoe bend or something. I know there's some giant horseshoe curve somewhere. I don't remember if that's a line I have or not. I bought a bunch of lines when they had a sale, but I've pretty much been... Um, sitting on this one, because I found this great, long, complex set of scenarios, and, you know, why do something different when I can just kind of stay focused on getting this one done and you know I'll do the same thing when I'm on another one hmm so yeah maybe maybe that is summit maybe we go through there is what happens instead of that we circle around that may be where we pass through and then start going down so but that's not two miles away that's why I was I assumed summit main was meaning we were at Summit, but once again, I think Summit is the town, so they're obviously not built right at the Summit, but whoa, 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 didn't realize how close I was getting, I'm almost at speeding again, alright, well, luckily I backed away from the edge, from the precipice, Although, yeah, we could go through here and go for two miles before we do start going down, now that I think about it. Because, yeah, it does look like we're heading out into the... in between these hills here. Calling them hills. They're clearly mountains, but now that we're so high up, it, it's like, yeah, they don't go up that much above us anymore. But... a road down there, so it looks like the road goes through here, too. So, getting a little steeper, 1.6, so we are still climbing. So we are going through here, but we're clearly not, as of yet, hitting the summit. So, we might be headed to what we were thinking of. But yeah, this is really just a long scenario because of the uh, kind of the, the speed, really. About 1.6. So we're definitely getting uh, less steep. Like we're climbing less quickly. Well, but now, as I say that, it goes back to 1.7, so... Now, 
Is the river there still? I don't think so. I mean, if it would be, it would probably just have to be a really small... Okay, drop all center beam stock ahead on Summit Main 2. Grab the four flat cars sitting on 2440, rehook to center beam stock, and continue. Okay. So let me go to the map. So drop off. Where's this show tat? Alright. I guess we'll just have to make sure. Yeah, summit main two four four. And that's where we're headed, so we're okay. Just getting a little confused. All right, well, we can go 35 over there, but we're obviously not going to care about that because actually, I don't know that you know, the train will be past it. I was going to say I don't know that we'll be far enough to do that, but we will. But yeah, this expanded out to three. We're definitely uh, right up here. Just gotta be careful because we are gonna flatten out, it looks like, even on the graphic down here. But yeah, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0.2. Because then we're suddenly gonna start speeding up. Maybe one of these days that'll be us, I don't know. But we'll see. So, so I think we pull in here. I'm assuming we're going to get past this switch, and then... Ah. I saw it, and then... So, I, I barely sped. I, like, literally was going down as I saw it, but... But, obviously, still dinged it a bit. Just trying to pay attention. There's a lot going on, so. Alright, so let me go out here. Because, yeah, that's what I think is going to happen. Because now the point I'm on, you know, by the time I, I get there, like, yeah, I'm obviously already kind of clearing this. So, we'll let ourselves drift along a bit. Alright, I think we're good. Alright. So I want to drop off 855, so I am assuming that is, whoops, which way, how do I do this? I don't understand what is happening, because normally I can, there we go. I guess I, oh, I didn't have the thing in the right place, so 8... 855, okay, so I'm dropping this, all right, and then I'm coupling 2440, so let's see, so yeah, I need to pull forward, so let me uh, do that. So we're going to leave the center beam cars, and then I think we're coupling those. I don't think there's anything else that would be 2440. So something else is coming by. I'm thinking that's just a switcher with the yard. Yep. 
So some empty lumber flats. I know that from one of the previous scenarios. I'm learning my railroad lingo a little better. I probably will totally forget it, so... But anyway, um... Let me do that. All right. So now I want to go back here. Oh, it looks like it's an automatic switch. So nothing I need to do there. Although, again, I'm assuming that's probably 10 or something on the side. At most, it'll be 15, but I need to assume it's 10. to the back, so, let's see, 15, okay, all right, I've been kind of bad with coupling and coming up on things way too fast, so let me be a bit conservative here. Rehook and head up the line a little further before we break. Stop at Bison East Main tanks. All right. So we're gonna turn around. But now we have those in between. That's kind of cool with the um, dry vans on there for the trucks. So I got my trucking simulator and my. Um, train simulator all tied together now. Moving trucks that I can pick up from the rail yard, which I've done in truck simulator sometimes. Pretty neat, pretty neat. All right, let me get to the back there so I can see when I'm clear. Again, be careful that I'm not speeding. We are pretty much on a flat spot, so... Um, Alright, so I think we're good. Whoops, I just hit the wrong thing. Yep, it's flipped the switch on us. So, we will now recouple. And then we're going to go via Bison West Main to stop on Bison East Main. So again, not going super far, but obviously we want to get there. So we'll go ahead and we'll move along a good good pace. But again, we've got to stop without destroying the other train. And I'm wondering, I guess, in the workshop scenarios, I wonder if like when I when I hit them too hard. Like if they have to build the derailing on a speeding coupling in, and that might be all the only thing that actually kept me from having a problem is it's just not put in there. Not that, oh, there's a lot of cars, and it kept things on the rail better. All right. I think at this point, yeah, we'll be down, because I think as long as we're below five, I think we're good. All right, so now we need to head the other way. Get back in here. And here we go. So 5.69 miles, about 10 minutes according to this. We'll see. Hopefully I won't get any wheel slip or anything, but I want to try to get myself up to 35 since I have that option. Take advantage of that blistering speed. Well, 
let's see. What do we look like now? Yeah, obviously longer. But, you know, not terribly long. I think we only added three or four cars, so... I think... Are we climbing or are we going downhill? I don't know the point nine three point three exactly what it is, but now we're going downhill. So we are we are going down, so I do need to be careful that I don't go too fast and then not break, so because yeah, um, I'm still speeding up, maybe I'll slow down eventually, but I'm thinking, because, yeah, now we have a 1% grade, so I'm guessing I'm not going to slow down without doing something. So we'll see. All right, well, even the 5 does a good job, so, so even 5% is enough to retard our fall a bit. Well, maybe not. Alright, there we go. So yeah, I'm guessing now all I'm doing is breaking the whole way. Yeah, I wonder if, like, you go the other way. Is it 35 going downhill, too? That is kind of intriguing. But yeah, it's uh, definitely s something you gotta pay attention to heading down the hill, because it speeds up. Like once it starts moving, and I'm sure that's just momentum, like once it's accelerating, it just kind of keeps accelerating. So I'm like, it just suddenly seems to be ticking up faster if I let it go for a while. I suppose I could test that a little bit and take it down to, say, 30, and then see if it really starts going crazy on me. Well, now I took it way down, but let's see. This will surely be a test then, because yeah, now I've got 10 miles to let this thing run. I've just got to be careful that it doesn't outrun me. Yeah, they're already two miles an hour faster. And I would say that is the case, because it looks like it's almost ready to, like, jump numbers. So, I don't know how brave I'm going to be. Probably not very. Alright, it does respond to the brakes right away, so that's alright. But yeah, it does seem to speed up a bit. I mean, it doesn't go crazy, but... So yeah, this is a very different way of driving the train now, where you're just basically hitting the brakes to keep it from running rampant. I'm assuming train brakes can overheat like other vehicles, so I wonder how they stop that from happening. I see it, I see it. I'm just kind of trying to keep moving along. <laughs> you guys, I'm sure we're paying... He's going to speed again. He's not paying attention. But no, I was. All right, three and a half miles. Now, again, that's just two Bison West. We don't know how long they those are, so Bison... East might be a little ways away. Or it might be right there. Who knows? We will know in th a little over three miles. How about that? But yeah, I will say, you know, after spending a lot of scenarios in Kalispell, um, there's a lot on this line. I mean, this line's got some length to it, which is pretty nice. So I shouldn't say there's a lot on the line. 
but the line has some length because I'm guessing, you know, obviously Kalispell and forget the names of the other towns over there. Okay, so now we're just 0.8. Still going downhill, but just not as much, so. Um, and I'm assuming the other end of the line where this ends probably has a yard. That's what I would like to see, I guess, and I think I did get some in the Great Plains, like something through Kansas or something, where you have some of those insanely large yards out on the Great Plains. That would be crazy to do some yard work in there. Especially if you got to run all over to do stuff. Alright, so green, red, 0.8. But yeah. It doesn't even really seem like we're going downhill, but obviously we are. I'm also curious why they do this just with one, um, one line, because obviously trains coming from the other direction, like they're sitting there having to wait for me for all these miles. And again, it's not as if we've done a tunnel or something. But uh, I think that's a pond down there. I think at this point we're, uh, we don't have a river. And I don't know if the Marias River is on this side or, or that was the side we were going with. I mean, I just assumed that river that was next to us was that. All right, well now we flattened out for a bit. Whoops, not enough though. Now suddenly we're not, and I went from 35 where I was just floating along to suddenly I'm at 35.7. I'm like, wait a minute. Things can happen pretty quick in a many, many ton train. Oh, we're actually climbing. So I guess we'll apply some uh, power here. Otherwise, we'll keep slowing down, and that obviously is not the goal. Look at that. We're climbing enough that 25% won't even maintain the speed. I think 38 will turn us around. I think it just has to build up a bit. Maybe not. There we go. Now we're now we're starting to accelerate a bit. I suppose I can go up a bit more. I'm just worried we're going to hit something else, although, no, I guess not. We're going to get to go 45 before we know it, so I guess we'll move along here. So on this side of the Continental Divide, clearly things flatten out. at least for a little while. But yeah, we're, uh, I mean, I've got a pretty good amount of power in here and we're just not really moving. All right, so just past that other signal is where Bison West Main 1 is. Put on full power. I'm not quite sure why I'm doing that, because it's probably not very far that we need to go, but who knows? Maybe it is. Maybe they I mean they're clearly not the other one's not showing up, so. Understand. Am I going downhill now? Oh, I am. Now it suddenly started going downhill. It tricked me. All 
Alright, so we're staying on Bison West Main. But yeah, we don't even see Bison East Main, so... Once we hit this, it'll tell us how far we've got, but... Look at that, we still have yeah, two miles. So, goodness. So, other than that little burp of speeding there. But yeah, he's waiting for me to get out of his way, so I'm going to do what I can to do that. While obviously being careful. Because again, now we've got a 1% grade, so we're back in that state. So, it tricked me a bit. But I think like anything, you kind of learn it. You know, as you go along, like, if as I run this line as an engineer more times, I would kind of remember, yep, near the summit there's that little bit where it, we go up and down and up and down, so got to be careful. But getting close, we're getting close now. It's really hard to light a firecracker after it has already gone off. It's very true. Dispatch, angry pounding on table. Yeah, I, I think I would be with the dispatcher. Like, we just can't seem to shut up. Every run, we've got to say something. And now we're on what? Scenario 14 or something? I mean, I think, yeah, they're like, this is crazy. This guy just, like, it's clearly a habit. There we go. Bison Main East is coming up. And it's coming up pretty quickly, so I do have to remember I'm going 45 now instead of, you know, whatever else we were doing. So maybe we'll drift in at this pace here. Although I think we're slowing down faster than we need to. Yeah, now, now it's taken a bit, but I'm thinking by that signal, well, clearly before the signal, I can see it on the indicator. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm talking foolish. All right. So now we'll start... Definitely slowing down. But I think as long as I'm on the pad, that's all I'll need. So we'll stop here and we'll be good to go. There we go. There's our timer. If we go here, we're on the last step of the massive five we had here. And, uh, you know, I guess we'll be taken off from here next time. Good and great job. Up next, coming soon, leaving Whitefish Part 7. Scenario complete. All right, once again. Thanks for tagging along. Yeah, a couple speeding issues I had, but very minor. But uh, hope you're enjoying it. I'll see you in a bit.